Come in, Bishop. Uh, hello? Just make yourself at home. I got some Kool-Aid on the table. You say Kool-Aid? Oh, right yeah. I'm just going to slip into something more comfortable. I right, praise God. This man is 57 years old, married, and a prominent clergyman from Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh. It's hard to believe that a man of his stature would show up to meet a boy who said he was 14 years old. He met the boy online three days earlier. The boy was really a perverted justice decoy pretending to be 13. Using the screen name, Eddie is ready, he asked the decoy, what size Under Armour do you wear? The decoy responds, a medium, but it's a little big on me right now. He goes on to say, maybe we can work out sometime. He goes on to say, I'm so filled with the spirit right now. Shouting John, hold my mule. He's adamant about the fact that if he comes over, he can get in so much trouble, but that doesn't stop him from coming over and having some punch. How you doing? Um, remember my church? That's not important right now. Why don't, uh, why don't you have a seat? Over here. Come, come sit over here for me. So what's going on? Uh, I'm all right. How you I'm, I'm How fine. You doing, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not your brother, but I'm good. So what you, uh, what you plan on doing today? Uh, no, I just came over here to um, get on my knees and pray. Mm-hmm. And lay hands. Lay hands? And really? Fill, fill a young man with my spirit. With your spirit, I'm so sure. Yes. Your spirit. Uh -huh. Then what's this young man's name? Uh, Desmond. His name is Desmond. Yeah. And, and how old is Desmond? Young Desmond, might I add. Seven, 17. Ha -ha. 17. You want to try again? Try one more, one more time. You seem stumped. You tell me. I mean, I'm telling you, he's he's not 17, and I have the transcript here. I mean, you don't you don't have to lie. Sir. He lied to me. No, I he think told me he you're was, you're lying to he me. He lied to a man of God. I, I have the proof, regardless of you being a man of God or not. I mean, I can I can only say what you type. So let's pray. Hold on. Pray for you. No, I don't need any prayer. We're gonna pray about this sheet here, and I'm gonna tell you what you did, and you're gonna want to pray after that. Mm-hmm. Say, um, yeah, hi, how are you? He says, fine, and he asks, uh, have you ever been with a man before? He You're says, like a man of God. No, I, I don't think you meant that because if you let me go on, not cut me off, it's very rude. Um, you say, uh, have you ever been with a man before? And uh, he says, no, I haven't. He's Most because like, men don't, young men don't have fathers. I mean, I understand that, but if you, if you could only let me read the transcript, you know, I mean, Listen, I'm gonna fight this. Mm. I may not be a perfect man, mm. but I'm not what that transcript says. Well, uh, sir, honestly, I, I'm not interested in if you're a perfect man or not. I'm just. I, 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 I am I'm only interested. And you are Goliath. And well, if I'm Goliath. I got five stones, and I haven't thrown one yet. Now, I am Bishop. And I could have you. Prayed off the face of this. I, I can baptize you. I can, I can put you in see, see the bricks on your feet and drop you to the bottom of a baptism. You hear me? I can hire my deacons. I see them deacons at your front door. Now you can sit here all you want. I don't even know who you is, by the way. Well, before you go any further, sir, I'd like to tell you that. My name is Chris Jackson, and I'm with Dayline NBC, and we're doing a story on internet predators who like to uh, prey on young kids, and you, sir, are cold busted. So if you, have, if you don't have anything else to say, you can, you're free to go. You can pray for me, but sir, I think you need more prayer than anyone.